Hello and welcome back to another random project. Last week when I was ill I took an interest in blackjack, especially the card counting bit of it. So I decided to make a tool for it in Excel. So first of all uh, we start with an empty Excel sheet. So I want to make um, a basic strategy chart over here. Um, I want some more things like uh, how many decks uh, are in the blackjack shoe, uh, the count, uh, the true count, uh, how many cards are played, uh, and the minimal and maximum bet of the table. And uh, I want some easy... Uh, buttons I need to click so if you don't know what blackjack is is it's a uh, it's a card game where you need to get as close to uh, 21 as possible if you can go over 21 you uh, bu bust you yeah, you're you're out of the game and you play against the house who need also needs to get as close to 21 as possible and the one that's closest to 21 uh, wins. And if you go over, you lose. It's actually really simple. But as I said, I wanted to make a basic strategy for the uh, chart here for how to play the game. So I will insert that one now. Okay, now I have done this. Um, all of the, the S, H, D stands for what you need to do, like hit, stand, double, split. Um, okay, so now I want uh, the number of decks in the game. Uh, the count uh, through count uh, the through count is uh, the, the count divided by the number of decks that are still in the game uh, and the value that comes out of that one uh, determines how much uh, money you can you can enter uh, cards Played, we need the minimal bet and the maximum bet of the table. So for this next part, we're going to need the developers tab. Uh, if you don't uh, cut this one, you can just uh, customize your ribbon. Uh, you get you get this screen, and down here you see developer tab of developer, and you need to think this one. And then you have the develop, developer tab. Uh, I want some uh, three buttons, so I'm going to go to the uh, insert and the active X controls. I'm going to add a command button about this size. Just drag and drop uh, for every single one. You need a new one. You can also just command C and control C, uh, control C, control V, and you have to con command button one, two, and three. Um, as long as the shine mode here on the top is on, I I can uh, just right click, go to properties, and here caption I can change the name. I'm going to call it less than six as as in uh, cards two through six uh, this one the same only i'm going to add seven through nine and uh, command button three uh, 
is going to call ten and up so that includes the ace now if you double click on one of the buttons you, you see uh, your VBA project with all of the uh, command buttons um, so I just clicked on uh, the less than six so it's already blinking in uh, the, the yeah the piece of code for the this button now I'm going to need the uh, lines for uh, yeah to code so we have now I added the clear button also um, and here in the top if we have design mode if we click it one once it turns off and we have a normal uh, mouse so we can click on the buttons if I click clear card plates turns to 3 on the 12 um, if I do one less than six uh, that the card plate turned one down and the count turned one up um, if I click on 7 through 9 the card plate is once again uh, one down and the count state zero 10 plus is count zero card plate uh, one down I clicked it now multiple times, man, uh, created a 10, and the count turned way down. And if I click clear, the count is uh, again 0, and card plate is back to 3 on the 12. If you play, for, extent, for, ex, uh, for example, a, uh, uh, a, a game with 8x, we just put here in 8, we clear the game, and we have... 416 card now I only need to uh, do some uh, tidying up so uh, nice couple of nice borders So we also want to know the a true count. So the true count is done by a small formula. So the formula is equals the count divided by uh, the card's plate, and that divided by uh, 52 cards in a game and now we have well a zero because there is nothing played so we want to know, know how much we need to bet uh, each hand so I'm going to merge these ones put a border around it call it uh, bet amount uh, make it bold, a bit bigger, and here also a border around. And this is also calculated with a um, formula, so it's equal again um, the max bet divided by the number of decks times uh, the through count so in this instance is of course a zero again because we don't have a minimal bet and a maximum bet uh, and it counts also zero but if we now press well for extent X, uh, example multiple times we see uh, well minus 40 isn't there so it's a minimal of 10, 10 dollars euros but if we go if there are a lot of 
uh, low cards played, we, we can see the, the amount we need to bet goes up and up. We have cleared again, it's zero. So after a bit of uh, tidying up, a bit colors, uh, I one of the colors, uh, one of the buttons, I made the color um, uh, clear before every use. And uh, well, here it's just a bit bigger. It's just the equal, uh, the same as these, only bigger. So I hope you liked this random project. It was very chaotic because I didn't do it with with a script this time. Um, yeah, if you liked the video, uh, please like it and uh, consider subscribing.